Hello everybody and welcome to what is going to be the biggest episode of the year in our Chelsea crew mode episode 31 As you guys can see on screen now we have two cup finals in this episode We've got Norwich in the FA Cup final and Arsenal in the Champions League final And if all goes to plan we will win the treble for this season If you guys didn't watch the last episode remember to do so as we did clinch the Premier League title Anyways though guys we are going to be jumping into the game against Norwich in the FA Cup final at Wembley Let's go Alright everybody and welcome to Wembley for the FA Cup Final. As you guys can see there's a Chelsea stand. Look at our fans. They've made our logo. It looks absolutely epic. That whole side of the stadium is all Chelsea. And yeah, let's go have a... That is a trophy right there that we want to win. We got to win that trophy. There's the Norwich half of the stadium. As you guys can see on screen now, this is what we had to go through to get to this point. We've won our last game 3-0 here at Wembley also, but that looks real. I really like the Norwich side of the stadium. It looks really nice. And anyways, guys, let's have a look at the team. So our player to watch here is Eden Hazard, number 10. He's got three goals in his last three matches. The guy is absolutely beasting it up for Chelsea at the moment. And hopefully he'll carry us to victory. All right, so here's the Norwich City starting 11. Ruddy, Pinto, Close, Basong. Uh, a few other good players, Bacani, who's been really dangerous, Naismith out attacking mid, Brady, Redmond, and uh, yeah, it's a very, very solid Norwich team, Jonathan, Ruddy, and goal. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous, so <laughs> let's see our side. Here's the Chelsea team, Courtois, Vanovic, Zuma starting in the center of the back line here. I'm hoping to get a win with this team, this has my, arguably been my best team all year. The Bala, who's actually grown to 83 overall, he's going to be starting up front, Kennedy on the left over Pedro. I've given a little bit of physicality to start over the precision and great ball control. So let's get into this game and hopefully win it. That's where FIFA kind of annoys me a lot of the time. John Terry's not going to get there. A great shot from Naismith and it's just wide of the goal. So close to 1-0 Norwich. Good little bit of play here from Chelsea. Chelsea cutting inside. There's just so many Norwich defenders. They've got the every player is playing defense at the moment. I don't know how and then when they get forward, everyone's up there. I don't really get how Norwich is doing this. They're putting in a good man performance here to try and beat us out here for this one. All right, everybody, so that's the end of the first half. It's been really frustrating because we were absolutely all over Norwich to end that first half. But they just they got one chance at the end of the first half also. But, I mean, we were all over them. We were just passing it around, but there's just no way to get through. They've got, like, ten defenders and one guy going forward. Anyways, so guys, we're going to make a few changes, so let's jump into the second half. Alright, so I am making two substitutions here in the FA Cup Final. We're bringing on Pedro and Oscar for Fabregas and Kennedy. Let's get in the second half and hopefully do some stuff. Great ball to Willian. Willian's going to cut inside. Oh, again, just seven players getting in there and just tackling. I should have just shot at bottom corner. It probably would have been 1-0 right now. Now, that's got to be cleared by Zuma. Yes, it is. And uh, why is none of my players being selected to try and win that ball back? Why? What is happening? All my players are dying here all of a sudden. I can't actually control any of them, and now we're going to get forward, and now we can try and bring- Come on, now Norwich is all back. I'm just going to try and switch the play here. That's a good, great ball. Great ball for Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard laid on here. Eden Hazard, the shot, and a great save. Rebound for Oscar, and it's a good save from Roddy again, and there's our best chance of the game coming in the 87th minute. Norwich, I mean, credit to them. They're not just sitting back. They are actually pushing for this goal. That was on a counterattack because they had everyone pushed forward. So, I mean, credits to Norwich. They are going for this win. They're not just sitting for penalties, which I do appreciate. That makes the game a lot better. All right, guys, so it is full time here at Wembley. I'm a little bit annoyed because I feel like we should be winning this game against Norwich. I mean, we really should. But after full time, it is nil-nil. We're going to have to go to extra time here at Wembley. So let's jump into the first half of extra time. He pushed really far forward. Good tackle. Play Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard, please. You've got to score this. Eden Hazard. Yes, it is. The FA Cup has got a first goal here. It's Chelsea through Eden Hazard. And it was a wonderful tackle from Dybala. A horrible mistake from the Norwich defender. And we got forward. As you guys can see, he was onside because of that left back who played him onside. Eden Hazard, one-on-one. -on -one. That is what he does best, is put the ball in the back. And that is 1-0 Chelsea. All right, so that is actually the first the half time here in extra time. It went by really, really fast. But the score is 1-0 Chelsea through a great Eden Hazard goal. We have one half to play and hopefully hold on. And the treble will still be on. Diego Costa to cut back into the middle. Oh my, that's got to be a red card. Referee, that is disgusting from Norwich City. Ye no, not even a card. That is absolutely he's nowhere near the ball, Martin. He just goes right through the back of Diego Costa. How is that? 
Maybe he just because he got the ball a little bit at the end there though, but that was an absolute horrible challenge. And uh, we can, <clears throat> should we try and bend this in? I'm going to cross it in actually. And hopefully one of our big boys will get to it. Over to Oscar, who's not the big guy I was hoping to get on that. And there it is, guys. There is the FA Cup final win for Chelsea. Eden Hazard in extra time. It had to go all the way to extra time before we could, could break through the Norwich defense. That was really solid in this game. But credits to Norwich. They didn't just defend for penalties. They went forward. They tried to get the goal themselves. And sadly for them, it wasn't quite enough. But for us, the quality did pay off. And it's our second cup in two matches. And now we have the chance for the treble against Arsenal. So let's watch the cinematics here. Oh, the boy's really excited about this one. And I mean, as well as we should be. I mean, it's a, it's a cup at Wembley. It's really exciting. And again, John Terry will be the one to lift this trophy. He lifted the Premier League trophy. And now he will be lifting the FA Cup as well. Alright everybody and welcome to the venue of the Champions League final, the Stadio Olimpico, Chelsea versus Arsenal. An all London final, a derby in the final of the Champions League. It's been probably, well I guess since Madrid, Barcelona maybe? No, the, the Atletico Real Madrid final would have been a would have been a derby as well. So here we have a look at the bracket. So this is how we got to this point. Chelsea and Arsenal in the Champions League final. Both of these teams probably won't have a Champions League final for a long time, really. And uh, they're going to get it though in this one. <laughs> Player to watch, Eden Hazard. He's been an absolute monster for us. A goal against Norwich earlier in this episode was the goal that got us the FA Cup final. I'm super excited. I can barely speak. Let's have a look at the squad. All right, everybody. So here's Chelsea's side for the game. Our side looking pretty dangerous. Pedro replacing Kennedy. But other than that, the same squad that just won themselves an FA Cup against Norwich City. And now let's have a look at Arsenal's side. So here's Arsenal's side. Petr Cech between the six, the former Chelsea goalkeeper. But it'll be rubbing salt in the wound if we beat him here. As you guys can see, it's a pretty solid side. Blaise Matuidi as well. Olivier Giroud up front, so not a dangerous... Well, he's a pretty dangerous striker in the air, so we're going to have to watch out for aerial crosses, but we do have John Terry in there to hopefully keep him at bay. Let's get in this game, and hopefully we can get a win. Yes, the former Arsenal player. Ball played through dangerously for Willian. Willian's going to be able to take the touch inside. Willian, the shot! And it's 1-0 Chelsea in the Champions League final! And I was just talking about how Willian hasn't had much of an impact this season. He hasn't been like he is in real life. And he's gone and done that. What a strike for Willian. And Chelsea find themselves 1-0 up here in the Stadio Olimpico in the Champions League final. What a goal for Willian. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Chelsea. No, no, no. No, no, no. John Terry's going to attack. John Terry, he's going to get burned, I bet, here. Yeah, he's going to... Well, he's doing really well to defend that. It's a great save. The rebound. No. Oh, my God. It's offside. It's in the net. Olivier Giroud has scored. But it is not going to count as he is offside. Crazy scenes here at the Stadio Olimpico. He is just offside. And a great first save from Courtois. But he was able to get up, put the ball in the back of the net for the rebound. But it will not count. And what a break for Chelsea here. And it remains 1-0. Alright guys, so it's halftime here at the Stadio Olympico in the Champions League Final versus Arsenal. I mean, it's crazy scenes. I'm I haven't been this excited about a game all this whole career mode. This is absolutely mental. Olivier Giroud has had a goal disallowed. My voice is going. 
And Willie Ann has made it 1 0 here. And we're going to go in the second half and hopefully see this one out. All right, guys, so as you can see, here's the stats at halftime. We haven't had a shot on target. I mean, we've got a goal, but no shots on target. I mean, Willie Ann's shot was not actually on target, but it was a goal. Uh, I'm not sure how that works, but uh, Arsenal having quite a bit of shots, not on target, really. They had one on target that was, I believe it was. Uh, Olivier Giroud, I'd like to say, is right on the penalty spot. Yeah, Giroud in the 45th minute. They did actually give the shot for that, but it, even though it was offside. Anyways, though, guys, let's make a few subs and jump in the second half. Alright, so, Arsenal making substitution here. Javier Pastore coming on. I'm not going to make any changes. I'm really happy with the way we've been playing in that first half. I, I believe, I felt we dominated the first half. Arsenal just has a good chance at the end there. So, let's jump in the second half and let's try and get a few more goals. He's just been getting it done. Pedro cutting inside. Pedro cutting the ball back. The shot! And it's in! And it has hard! Making it 2-0 Chelsea! And it comes from absolutely nothing, and it was a pitiful shot, the first shot, and it's fallen dead in Hazard, and he makes it 2-0 against Arsenal in the Champions League final, and we're going to win a Champions League final and do the treble as well. It just hits the defender, just bounces right to Eden Hazard, and he makes no mistake. He does what he's been doing so much in this series to end it. I just remember at the very beginning of the series, I was so hard on Hazard. I said he wasn't good enough, but as you guys can see, he is good enough. He's made it 2-0, Chelsea. And what an inspiration. It is 2-0, Champions League final, and possibly a trouble here against Arsenal. By playing the ball dangerously through for Paulo Dybala. He's going to take the turn on the first touch on the inside. The oh my goodness, and it's 3-0. That is what I am talking about, guys. The Champions League final is a rout against Arsenal, our big derby rivals. And I'm absolutely, I just, I'm so excited. I mean, we won 1-0 against Norwich. I thought this game was going to be absolutely... Super, super difficult. I thought we were gonna have a lot of, you know, troubles breaking down this Arsenal defense. And uh, I mean, we've done a great job of that. It's 3-0 Chelsea in the Champions League final. The Stadio Olympico. Come on, Chelsea, let's go. Good little bit of play from Eden Hazard to win that ball back. And that's just been Chelsea's night, hasn't it? At oh, here we go. Seth Fabregas driving in on goal. The snake. The snake has done it. The former Arsenal player. Everybody, every Arsenal fan hates him. And it's 4-0, and what a way to end this first season. A 4-0 route of Arsenal in the Champions League final. Sask Fabregas getting on the board. Remember, he scores a lot of goals in the Champions League this season for us. And he gets another one there against his former side, Arsenal. And the score is 4-0, Chelsea. Here's ball down the side here. Willian cutting in behind. Willian cutting by two, maybe three. I believe I can fly. I believe I can Yes, he's done it! Oh my, Willian has out jumped Petr Cech and company there. And to make it, make it Chelsea 5. Oh my goodness, add insult to injury. Willian, I mean, I, I, I was talking about it earlier in this game. I hadn't really thought that he showed up, but in the Champions League final, when you need a lot, all your players to step up, I mean, Willian and the whole team have stepped up for this game. They are absolutely on point. He's out jumped Kieran Gibbs and Petr Cech to win that header. And a wonderful bit of play there from Willian to make it Chelsea 5, Arsenal 0. What a route. What a destruction of Arsenal. An embarrassment to the club. A big win for Chelsea. And he's, as you can see, the players are absolutely delighted. Even at 5, we're still celebrating. Let's go. All right, guys, there it is. Full time here at the Stadio Olimpico. The final score is Chelsea 5, Arsenal 0. And we've done it. The treble is Chelsea's this year. Our first season of career mode, and we get the treble. Vanovic is stoked. Fabregas, Matic, all the boys. We're super excited about that. Oh, man. I'm actually going to probably end this episode here. There will be another Chelsea career mode episode coming out very soon. It'll be kind of the roundup, and we're just going to kind of go over all those tables, everything. But to end this episode, we're going to end it with the celebration of the Champions League title. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I mean, it will be coming back at a later date, but we are going to be doing a new career mode starting pretty soon, in the next few days anyway. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and take care. Woohoo!